Hello Aries, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 29th of October, Halloween week. A Halloween week which coincides with a quarter moon, a very passionate quarter moon in your sister fire sign of Leo. So there can be quite a lot of passion working its way around the heavens this week, especially as Venus, the planet of love, is retracing its steps through to midweek in the sign of Scorpio, but it's in opposition to Uranus, the planet of surprises. You may find yourself having a big attraction to somebody, or equally a big unattraction to somebody. It just depends on your unique circumstances. But if you want to make progress in the world of work or your worldly interactions, the first half of this week give you a wonderful opportunity to make progress where the angle between the Sun and Saturn and also Pluto and Mars, your ruler, suggests who you know as much as what you know as well as an ability to network and knit your goals and ambitions into some kind of team environment could really serve you well. But from midweek, Venus retraces its steps back into your sector of relating. If there is a relationship which has been under review during the retrograde which began on the 5th of October, it can continue apace. Also, as this month comes to a close, Mercury moves into Sagittarius. So you may feel a desire to break out, learn a new skill, travel, or perhaps connect with someone who's very stimulating and perhaps a little bit more spontaneous. It's been a real pleasure being with you. I hope you have a great Halloween. For now, good luck and goodbye. Hello Taurus, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 29th of October. Last week's full moon in your sign was so potent and it does continue to work its energy into this week. This could be making you very restless, particularly if you feel you're in a situation where you do a lot more giving than you do getting. And that's particularly so around a close relationship, a very acute angle between Venus, your ruler, and Uranus is in action all of this week. And both of them are touched by the point of destiny, the North Node, which is in a very tender area. And on Halloween itself, there is a quarter moon, a quarter moon which is also going to be activating the energy of your emotions and how this works as far as the give and get when it comes to relationships are concerned. With Mercury moving into a more penetrative part of your scope, it could be not so much what people are saying to you that influences your thinking, but what they really mean. And you can don your detective's Mac to really figure out just what. But a very constructive link in the first half of this week between the Sun and also Saturn suggest if there is a partnership which is working well for you, it can take some significant, if steady, steps forwards. It's been a real pleasure being with you. I hope you have a wonderful Halloween, but for now, good luck and goodbye. Hello Gemini, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 29th of October. Of course, this week is Halloween. It's a Halloween which can see you keen to be productive when it comes to work, the details of life, your life organisation. Just don't try too hard. A quarter moon on Halloween itself could see you a little bit on edge. And also, the energy from last week, so potent full moon, can see you rather restless and find it hard to pinpoint exactly why. It's possible that some issues have come up into the open that you weren't expecting, and there could be more of that this week. But if you can really concentrate on the things you can really influence, great progress can be made with the Sun forging a very stable angle to Saturn. Now Saturn, of course, has its downsides, but it can also be the glue that holds things together. So if you can really concentrate on what's 
uh, important as far as the nitty gritty issues are concerned, then you can make some steady progress forwards. Now this week also sees uh, on Thursday, Mercury, the planet that governs your sign, move into your uh, uh, opposite sign of Sagittarius. This asks you to put aside some of the brittleness that's been buzzing around you of late and try to take a step back and use your more logical faculties, which comes through the element of air, which governs your sign, to try to hear exactly where people are coming from. Venus and Uranus continue to be in opposition this week, but Venus does reverse back into your sister air sign of Libra from midweek. So I think something that has seemed a bit out of kilter can be resolved by a generosity of spirit, but also uh, a desire to try to find solutions. If you are single and you'd like to meet somebody new, it could be a bit of a surprise who you're drawn towards over the next few weeks. It may even be someone you encounter through your work. For now, it's been a real pleasure being with you. I'd love it if you would like or comment on this video, or if you've yet to do so, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Hello Cancer, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 29th of October. Last week's full moon, the lunation which saw the moon combine with Uranus in your sector of friendships, but also longer term hopes, and also the more idealistic side of your nature, may have shook things up a little bit. Now that energy is still going to be potent this week, particularly as Venus, the planet of love, is in contact with Uranus, although it is about to rotate backwards into the sign of Libra. If something has been quite passionate around your situation of late, but not necessarily resolved, it may be because something between you and the other person is out of kilter based on a issue of values or money, or shared resources. Continued conversation is going to be important this week, but Mercury, the thinking planet, moves into a very precise and practical location, which can help you. Also, Saturn, although it does have a fearsome reputation and continues in your sector of relating, does forge a fantastic link with the Sun in the first half of this week. If you've got a creative project you need to talk to someone influential about, as long as you do your planning and your research in a meticulous way, you could come across in a very splendid and impressive manner. But of course Wednesday does also see Halloween. This is the quarter, uh, quarter intersection day, the halfway point between the solstice and the equinox. It's not actually on Halloween the 31st anymore, because that was when we used the Julian calendar. It's now on the 7th of November, technically. But this is a big event for us all to celebrate. And I think for you, perhaps playing mine host, being a bit more spontaneous, won't be a bad thing. But if something has seemed a, li a little bit cloying or restrictive, don't try too hard or make too much of a generous gesture in order to win someone round. Perhaps you just need to continue to let things play out and relax and be your natural self. But for now, good luck. I'd love it if you would like or comment on this video. Or if you've yet to do so, please do subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Hello Leo, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 29th of October and of course Halloween. This week begins quite dramatically in a way. I still feel that the energy of last week's uh, very potent lunation which saw the moon alongside the restless energies of Uranus is going to be influencing your mood most of all. If you have a role which is exciting and fulfilling particularly as far as your work is concerned, or how you interact with people in your local community, the respect that you garner from others. If you feel that you are getting the kind of acclaim that you really deserve, then I just feel that you may uh, be finding new innovative ways to add an extra impetus to what you're doing. If, however, you're in a role which sees you basically putting the needs of others before yourself, 
or that's rather mundane, boring and dull. This could reach quite a, a fever pitch this week, particularly as Venus, the planet of love and affection, which has been tracing, retracing her steps since the 5th of October, is also in opposition to Uranus and forging a T-square between them with the north node in your sign, which is very much pushing you and has been since last May to be much more of a free spirit, much more individualistic. The great news is that Mercury, the planet of self-expression, does move from a more reserved, inward-looking area into a much more outgoing and extroverted one. So still, although there still is the presence of the Sun and also Jupiter in the sign of Scorpio, and Venus reverses back into Libra midweek and Mercury moves into Sagittarius, you have an opportunity to try to balance whatever it is that is evolving in your home environment or your emotional situation with something that gives you a sense of organisation, self-discipline, but also that stimulation, which I think is so crucial. So whether it's your love life, the family organisation, who does the domestic chores, there needs to be an, a realignment if you're not feeling really fed and nurtured when it comes to your creativity, your uh, individuality and your ability to really find stimulation in your daily role. I do feel that's a crucial theme for this week. I do ho also hope you have a wonderful uh, uh, Halloween, a day which falls every year on the 31st. This is known as the quarter point in astrology because it's halfway between the solstice and also the equinoxes. But actually, it should really be on November the 7th. But when it was first aligned, the Julian Canada was still in, in, uh, in action. And now, of course, we use uh, the Gregorian calendar. So as this week draws to a close, you can have some fun. But I do feel you need to feel alive and stimulated, but also, crucially, nurtured at the same time. It's been a real pleasure being with you. I'd love it if you would like or comment on this video. If you've yet to do so, please do subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Hello Virgo, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 29th of October. You're a person who can be enormously self-sacrificing. And if there are support roles or roles which require self-discipline, attention to detail, anything to do with medicine or food, distribution, you really are a very solid citizen. But also because there's been such a clustering of energy this year in a very creative part of your horoscope, some of it pushing you to be more enterprising, some of you maybe, may, maybe at times making you a little fearful of demonstrating your talents, but last week's full moon really did uh, provide quite a statement of intent for you. Because if you are hemmed in, bored, listless in whatever you're doing, and you want to be uh, in a more dramatic mode, being a bit more uh, spontaneous, living in the moment, a bit more risk-taking even, or independent, then I think this energy is still feeding into this Halloween week. But because the North Node, the point of destiny, is located in a very tender part of your scope and is forging a T-square with both Uranus and Venus, the planet which of course has been retracing her steps since the 5th of October, I feel that your words and the way you receive information and share your ideas can have quite a sensitive dimension, even though the Sun forges a wonderful link with Saturn in the first half of this week. And if you do have a clarity of, pro, uh, of, of, of thought and you have a plan which you're really keen on and it's well worked out, then people can be very impressed about how you come across. But Mercury, the planet of communication, and of course your ruler, does move into detriment uh, this week, gliding into the sign of Sagittarius. This can make you a bit more reflective or inward looking be careful not to bottle up your feelings and to recycle them in your mind. Keep sharing how you feel in the passionate way you have of late. But I do feel you may have surprised somebody by being a bit more outspoken, a bit more frank, and also asserting your need 
to be a bit more of a free spirit. And I do feel there will be more of that this week. But if a financial issue has not quite been flowing as you would like, with Venus retracing her steps into Libra midweek, you do have an opportunity to look at that. But with the quarter moon on Halloween as well, in the sign of Leo, there just is going to be that sensitivity flowing through your situation as much as the desire to shake things up and be much more enterprising. It's been a real pleasure being with you. I'd love it if you would like or comment on this video, or if you've yet to do so, please do subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Hello Libra, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 29th of October. Halloween brings you a wonderful present in that your ruling planet Venus, which has been retracing her steps since the 5th of October, reverses back into your zodiac sign. If your financial situation or something you've desired or someone that you're strongly sensually drawn towards has seemed a little bit muted, not working quite as well as you would like, it falls back to you to try to use your flair, your creativity and also your charm, which you often have oodles of, to try to shake things up. And yet there could be a surprise this week around your finances, not necessarily a bad one either. It could be a very pleasant one. If you do have an opportunity to be more enterprising, you may need to make a snap decision about something. You have a tendency to analyse things carefully, to weigh up the pros and cons, and that can be all to the good. But someone could push you to be quite decisive. This can be exciting, it's an opportunity, but also could leave you a little bit, ooh, this is a moment I need to be much more assertive around. Fortunately, Mars is in a great location for you still, and is forging a fab angle to Pluto, the planet of change, transformation. And if you can balance your flair and your drive and your determination with what really feels right for you at an emotional level, that's a smart thing to do. And Saturn, also in this location, is forging a very positive angle to the Sun in the first half of this week, which means that you can really, if you have all the information you need, be very firmly decisive, which can be very helpful to you. However, the quarter moon on Wednesday does coincide with Halloween. The quarter point. Now, obviously, we have equinoxes and we have solstices. And in between the two is the quarter point, which traditionally has been on the 31st of October, Halloween. Actually, now it should be on the 7th of November because the calendar has changed away from the Julian calendar. But this quarter moon occurs in Leo, which for you is about friendships, idealism, group involvement. And perhaps there is something where your values are diverging with someone or a group of people that you have had some kind of common bond with before. I don't think it's necessarily a good thing to make any rash decisions. Just try to work things out. It's possible that your feelings about uh, the, the type of things that really excite you and draw you are in a process of change, which is going to become much more obvious as we go further into the last quarter of this year. But for now, I do feel that Mercury's arrival from midweek in your sector of everyday communication is wonderful because this is going to help your mind to be much crisper, much quicker, and you're going to be able to articulate yourself very much more effectively too. It's been a real pleasure being with you, Libra. Have a happy Halloween. I'd love it if you would like or comment on this video. If you've yet to do so, please do subscribe to this channel. For now, good luck and goodbye. Hello Scorpio, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 31st of October. This week of course sees Halloween at the middle of the week and the sun in your sign is going to be squaring up to the moon in Leo on that day. It's possible that your desire to be individualistic and very driven towards any goals and targets, may in some way be blocked or muted by the perhaps lack 
of enthusiasm you encounter from a boss, partner, or perhaps even a parent. It's going to be important, therefore, to keep the faith. And Venus, which has been tracking backwards in your sign since the 5th of October, well, that's going to be reversing, inverting back into the sign of Libra. If there is something that has been on your mind around your personal identity or around a relationship, I do feel that that can be at the core of this week because last week's full moon did combine with Uranus, the planet of surprises. So you may find yourself feeling quite restless about what you want and what you want to give around relationships or is it someone close to you who's not necessarily being particularly predictable in their attitudes? I still feel that this needs more time to work through. But what I can say is that Mercury moves out of your sign and into Sagittarius. If you do need to think about anything in a major way, it's important, therefore, to think about the foundations, the everyday nitty-gritty side of things. Yeah, money, but also your core values. Let those guide you. But I feel if you have been a little on edge or unsure about your love life, this is not a time to be too quick to jump to any final conclusions. There is actually two very positive influences concerning your, uh, your ruling planets. In fact, your co-rulers of Mars and Pluto themselves are in a very fine angle, a semi-sextile, in the first half of this week. It may be that something that's been hidden that's been kept a little bit hush-hush, may need to be talked through. Try not to knock this opportunity back. Try to be as frank as possible. Also, the sun in your sign is forging a fab angle to Saturn. Your words and how you express them need to be measured, well thought through, and considered as far as other people are concerned. So, though there may be parts of you that could feel a bit impulsive, a little bit restless or even a bit bored around your love life or a relationship, do think carefully before making any key decisions. But I do wish you a very happy Halloween. I'd love it if you would like or comment on this video. If you've yet to do so, please do subscribe to this channel. But for now, good luck and goodbye. Hello Sagittarius, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 29th of October for the Sun or the Ascendant. This week of course is Halloween which coincides with Mercury, the planet of communication, arriving in your zodiac sign. If you have been finding things a bit frustrating of late due to the level of activity that's been gathered in your 12th solar house, which is very much about reflection and inwardness and a need for potential seclusion, Mercury arriving in this area is a new dawn, an opportunity to be more engaged and more engaging with the people you encounter. But there are some still very serious uh, planetary influences that are going to see you needing to grapple with some issues that you may prefer not to look at immediately. And one of these sees Venus reversing back into a, a superb location for you, the sector of friendship, but it's still in a T-square with the North Node, the point of destiny, and also Uranus, the planet of restlessness. And of course, last week, there was that full moon combining with Uranus. And it's possible that when it comes to your work or your overall structure in life, you may feel very, very ungrounded and not really as applied to situations as you would like. What's really important this week is to try to keep a sense of perspective. A quarter moon on Halloween itself can heighten your emotional responses in a way which you're not ordinarily used to. You can find yourself much more sensitive. But if you can tune in to the things you've been doing behind the scenes, especially around building up greater awareness of your emotional health, a great link with Saturn in the first half of this week can see you uh, appreciating the building blocks you're putting in place for your future progress. Also, Mars is forging an awesome link with Pluto. 
Your communicational skills can definitely be good for you when it comes to improving your financial lot, but maybe something is transforming in the way you think or the way you act or communicate with others that could be feeding into this. Flexibility is something that you have a great gift for, and it is going to be important for us all at this time, especially with the fixed energies, the grand fixed cross, that's still very much to the fore this week. But as Venus retraces her steps deeper into Libra, I do feel a situation which may have seemed to have drifted away from you can come back to life and gives you an opportunity to revisit it with a heightened awareness and appreciation of the strands involved. It's been a real pleasure being with you. I'd love it if you would like or comment on this video, or if you've yet to do so, please do subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Hello Capricorn, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 29th of October. You have a terrific appreciation of the need to be patient, to apply yourself over a sustained period of time. Other people can almost want to get instant results and when they don't get them, tend to lose interest and meander around, sometimes aimlessly. Whereas once you have a very clear goal or vision in your mind, you proceed in a very patient, sustained and step-by-step -step way. This week, Saturn, your ruler, is going to be forging in the first half of the week to a great link to the Sun in Scorpio. And this is going to help you to link well as an individual, but in a very cooperative way to the people that are being helpful in your situation. But Saturn is the influence that gives you these skills, these assets, where you appreciate that not everything does come easily, it does require some application and some perspiration. But now I feel that you can add to this some real sense of future planning, of seeing the big picture and working well with the key people in your world. But of course, last week there was a very restless full moon. And if your love life has become a little too mundane and you're itching for a, a bit more excitement, then it could see this aspect between the Sun and Saturn. You're looking out for other like-minded individuals that know that you can be great fun to be with, you have a fantastic sense of humour, but at the same time, you need to feel that people are real. So if something has lost its luster, an interest, a friend, or even a relationship, you are going to be very attuned to who may be potential uh, new players in your world. Part of the reason for this is that Uranus is in uh, uh, an opposition with Venus, the planet of affection, throughout this week. Venus is actually going to reverse, inverse, from Scorpio into uh, Libra, but both are dissected by the energy of the North Node, the point of destiny, which for you, in uh, the last uh, months, has been asking you to grapple with the potential that you gain, the, the, the benefits that you gain from very close associations. But if there's a very close association that's throttling your uh, need to be an individual, I think it's going to give you food for thought this week. So if a tie really does seem to have lost that sparkle, maybe this is your opportunity to try to re reinvigorate it, make suggestions about how you can rekindle the spark of attraction between one another. For some people, it may seem that some kind of change is necessary or event inevitable. But Pluto, the planet of change, in your sign too, is forging a superb angle to Mars. And if you do like to take the initiative, but you also appreciate the good things in life, then food and drink can be a great thing to share with anyone that you encounter. But of course, this week is Halloween. And on Halloween itself, there is a quarter moon. And if there is a group of people that you hang out with where there is an undercurrent of jealousy or bickering or politics, that could be quite a turn-off to you. And in fact, with Mercury arriving in your twelfth solar house, your psychic antenna is really going to be sharpened up about who you can really trust and who perhaps you can't. And even if Uranus's con conjunction 
with the full moon of last week and its opposition with Venus this week can see you restless. It can be a good restlessness because it can make you more open at the type of people that you can link with. It's been a real pleasure being with you. I'd love it if you would like or comment on this video, or if you've yet to do so, please do subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Hello Aquarius, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 29th of October. This is for the Sun or the Ascendant, and this week's Halloween forecast is certainly exciting for you, particularly as far as relationships are concerned, and potentially with people you interact with in a more professional or worldly context. There is a quarter moon on Halloween itself in your opposite sign. If you do have an interview or do a presentation or need to make an impact on anyone you encounter, just don't try too hard. Be true to yourself, but at the same time, do be mindful of what's expected of you, but at the same time, mark out your boundaries. Because if you try too hard, it will be counterproductive. Now, of course, there was that very, very powerful full moon of last week, which combined with your modern ruler of Uranus, and that energy feeds into this week. In fact, Uranus is in opposition with Venus, the planet of love, which has been in retrograde in your worldly sector since the 5th of October. I think it's possible that someone could surprise you. It could be a boss. Maybe they're going to spring some kind of demand or opportunity in your direction, but it may require you to react in a flexible way. Being a fixed sign as you are, you like a certain amount of constancy. Now, people's view of you as an Aquarius is that because of the influence of Uranus, that you can be quite futuristic and innovative. And of course, this can be true. But the Aquarians have a duality which comes from the influence of the co-ruler of Saturn. So that side of you that does like a degree of settlement could be challenged by a need to change things. Now, in a positive way, you could be moving your furniture around, making some adaptations at home, perhaps even changing your working patterns to give you more flexibility as an individual or with your family. And that can come out in a very positive way for you. But because Venus is still tracking backwards and from midweek reverses back into your sister air sign of Libra, there may be someone at a distance that you've been waiting to hear from, some kind of communication which is important to you, that the retrograde has in some way been bogging down. Good news is possible before the end of November, I should say this. And this week also, Mercury, the planet of communication, moves for you, at least, into a fabulous location. And it's possible that it's not just a case of what you know, your skill set, it is a case also of who you know. Your contacts, often you're a brilliant networker, uh, they are going to be influential for you in the next few weeks as well. But of course, we have got a grand fixed cross going on this week, which links into the North Node, the point of destiny, which is in your opposite sign. And I think the relationships, be they professional or personal, are still very much at the core of some of what you're trying to achieve. What I would say is just try not to be too sensitive if you encounter some changes in your professional situation or at work. It's a time to be fluid and embrace the more flexing side of your nature and the side of you which loves curiosity and the change of scene. It's been a real pleasure being with you. I'd love it if you would like or comment on this video. Or if you've yet to do so, please do subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Hello Pisces. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 29th of October for the Sun or the Ascendant. This week's Halloween horoscope for you gives you an opportunity to try to marshal your energy and your thinking in terms of the practicalities of any opportunities that come up. This is because of a lunation, a quarter moon, on Halloween itself, and also the arrival of Mercury, the planet of communication, in the most visible and worldly part of your scope. Over the next few weeks, the chance to think about how you slot into situations is going to become 
a much bigger issue for you. Recently, you've probably had a little bit of wanderlust, or at least a desire to freshen things up and reinvigorate your world with greater stimulation, whether it's been visiting different haunts socially, uh, following different TV shows, or perhaps um, your interests, wider interests, have also been in a state of flux. There's likely to have been quite a lot of dialogue, perhaps with people in positions of uh, guidance, such as lawyers or advisors or counsellors, people who can help you, or perhaps you're playing this role in some way. But of course, last week, there was a very potent full moon in your third solar house, and you may have found it quite hard to sit still, and that energy may still be working its way into this week. Don't try to pack too much in this week, and certainly avoid trying to promise more than you can realistically deliver. If you're having an interview for a job, or someone asks you for some kind of help or favour, it's going to be important not to over, uh, over uh, appreciate what you may achieve, and be a bit more discerning and a bit more cautious about what the realities of whatever opportunities come up. But Venus ingresses, reverses back into the sign of Libra this week, but it does continue to be in an opposition to Uranus. So I think flexibility when it comes to your thinking, your financial situation, is going to be important. And flexibility generally comes naturally to you because your sign is mutable, therefore you change, you can adjust and Neptune, of course, your co-ruler, is very much to do with sensitivity. And you can get the ebbs and flows of life pretty well better than anyone else. But with Saturn in an influential angle to the sun this week, opening up your world but in a way which is sustainable for your future is going to be a major theme for you. And in fact, Pluto, also in your sector of future plans, is collaborating with Mars it could be a link to someone from your past or something you do behind the scenes can bring some kind of reward. It's been a real pleasure being with you. I hope you have a great Halloween, Halloween and thank you for joining me. I'd love it if you would like or comment on this video. If you've yet to do so, please do subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. If you'd like to know more, please visit my website at www.patrickarundel.com or download my free app in iOS, Google or Facebook at www.horoscope-ace.com. Thanks and goodbye.